When will the number of US COVID deaths reach the tragic figure of 1 million? We've done the maths, but first, a puzzle. As the number reached milestones like 100,000, the New York Times went big on the story. Now that number has reached 900,000, but it was played down with a headline saying that the American people were moving on. Now the US public poured onto social media to say that they were not moving on. One man made a video showing the huge number of deaths in the Vietnam War and pointing out that the memorial would have to be 15 times larger to record the names of US COVID victims. And what's really happening here? The White House has quietly decided that the news angle needs to change from COVID as a continuing problem to COVID as something to move on from. Someone from the White House appears to have leaked it to Politico. So New York Times reporters are doing their job to echo a discreet government plan to reshape public opinion. Wait, what? That's not their job. Journalists report the news. They don't manipulate public opinion for the authorities. What is this, China? Now keep that in mind when you think of the reports about Ukraine, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Xinjiang, and so on. In these cases, so-called journalism runs in line with US foreign policy. Meanwhile, when will the number of COVID deaths in the US sadly reach 1 million? Our projections say it will be in the second half of next month, that's March, or the first half of April. A tragic day. Which is why the White House wants people to move on and why the New York Times has coincidentally started reporting that the American people want to move on. Read widely, stay skeptical. Goodbye. <laughs>